today the Israelite population represents 13%. The Caucasian population represents, I think it's 80%. But yet they are saying that the Israelite population is too large. Why? Because they know who we are and they are afraid of us. People, take notes and open your Bible. Why are they afraid of us? Turn to 2 Kings chapter 1 and read from 10 to 14. 2 Kings chapter 1 and read from 10 to 14. In this passage of scriptures, it says that the prophet Elijah, the prophet of the Most High, brought fire from heaven and consume the captain and his 50 men who came to him on two occasions people when the israelites are faithful to the most high the most high give us the authority to do supernatural things to even bring fire from heaven even create fire from heaven to destroy our enemies that is why the Caucasians fought out fit to invent the, the rifle, to invent the atomic bomb, to invent, to invent nuclear bombs. Because when the Israelite community is faithful, the Most High give us the power to bring, to bring atomic power from heaven even to destroy our enemies he gave us the power to create remember our bodies are made up of atom the atom is the most dangerous most deadliest bomb in the entire world we are able to harness the power in those atom in our body and create atomic energy to destroy our enemies you think they have nuclear arms because america is a threat to russia and russia is a threat to america no those arms were developed because we the israelites are a threat to them we don't know it because we are straight too far from the most high they know who we are and they are afraid of us. Second Kings chapter 2 verse 23. The prophet Elisha had just cleansed the water that was, that was deadly to the people. It made them sick and it made them barren. And when Elijah was walking, some youths disrespected the prophets of the most high and the prophet of the most high caused two female bear to come out of the woods and maul those 42 boys people they know who we are and they're afraid of us because when we are faithful to the most high even the animals are, at, on, are under our control when we are faithful to the most high the lions the bears and the tigers will heed our very command they know who we are and they are afraid of us we go into the book of judges we learn that Gideon a coward Gideon a coward the most high said Gideon I know you are a coward I know you're afraid, but I'm sending you on a mission. Right? You have a big army. I don't want that big army to go on a mission. You have a mighty army. I don't want you, Gideon, taking the credit for my power for yourself. 300 men. You go. 
and you fight that grand midnight army go and fight them with trumpet and torches when i tell you what to do i want you to blow the trumpet and i will do the rest let me tell you the most i said that we are the apple of his eyes the most high gets personally and intimately involved in our affairs he get personally and intimately involved in our affairs he don't require us to do anything all we have to do is be obedient to him and he is going to do the rest you go into the same book of judges and you get to understand that in this period of the history of our four parents our people were under great oppression by the philistines we didn't have an army we couldn't go up against the philistine with an army because we didn't have an army the people were afraid of the philistine their enemies the most I said, listen, I don't need an army to deal with these people. He sent a man by the name of Samson. He said, Samson, I'm going to give you the mentality, the fearlessness, and the strength to go up against the Philistines. It was Samson alone against the entire Philistine army, the entire Philistine nation. Samson, one man, was doing the, the work of an entire army. He was fearless. He was courageous. He was strong and he was killed. Because the Most High don't need an army to fight against your enemies and to fight your battles. In this era, he had a one-man army by the name of Samson. And on Samson's death, Samson killed 500 Philistines. 5,000, sorry. 5,000 Philistines. At his death, he killed more in one shot when he was dying than he killed in all of his exploits against the Philistines. People didn't know who we are, and they are afraid of us.